Greetings, Eric Backer, naturopath. Thanks for tuning into my video. We're continuing on with my gallstone series. This is the second video in the series, Signs and Symptoms of Gallstones. So this is basically an indication uh, of, you know, that you may have a problem with the liver and particularly gallstone formation. I'm just going to read some stuff off my website, ericbacker.com. There's a few articles on gallstones on that site. So a couple of interesting ones uh, which I'm going to speak about are common, uh, some are less common and some are a little bit more rare. Some of the ones that I see from time to time will be a pain, especially between the shoulder blades, okay? A pain that you may feel going centrally through the body. Pain under the right rib can occur occasionally. Darting pains or twingy pains. So anywhere sort of around this region here underneath the rib, you know, on this side, the right side. So Pain can sometimes be around the front here, more central, or particularly across the back under the left shoulder blade. If you've got something around the left shoulder blade, like, ah, my shoulder's hurting, or and it, could, it could be an indication there's a gallstone there. Stools could be light or chalky. So a change in not just the texture of the bowel motion, but particularly the color. So floaters rather than sinkers when it comes to bowel motions. I know that sounds a bit gross, but stools that float or sit higher up on the water rather than ones that sit. A like normal bowel motion should be like an iceberg, about 10-15% above the water and the rest should be bobbing underneath the water. Okay, If they sit higher up or lower down, that could be an indication of a, you know, a problem either with fat malabsorption or you know, a person can be dehydrated, suffer from constipation or other issues. Look for a bit of an oil slick around the water. It can indicate also an imperfect ability for the body to break fats down, to emulsify fats. Because one of the prime things that bile will do is to help emulsify and get rid of fats out of the body. So when you pass out of motion, there shouldn't be much of an oil slick sitting there. That can be an indication of a liver gallbladder problem. Indigestion after eating, especially greasy or fatty foods. So I just had a look at an interesting website. I think it might have been one of these uh, very big medical websites in America. And they're basically saying that uh, foods don't have much bearing on gallbladder health at all, and there are no natural treatments known to work to remove gallstones, which is a lot of crap. You can definitely remove gallstones. I've got plenty of photos here to show you later on that gallstones do come out, in spite of what the medical doctors say. You can get rid of gallstones, okay? So, history of gallstones in your family, especially if your mother or aunties or grandmother or sister because I'm talking mainly women here, because we're women is two to one over males, remember, with this issue. So if there's a strong family history of um, gallbladder removal, there could be a big indication that you yourself may end up with a gallbladder removal or have problems, you know, present to your doctor with pain. There could be a gallstone problem. Weight gain after recent uh, digestive troubles or gallbladder removal. So people who gain a lot of weight with gut issues may have a problem with breaking fat down. So the prime organ that helps us to metabolize fat in the body is the liver. So people sometimes get big gallbladder problems after they lose a lot of weight, for example. So one of the signs and symptoms is rapid weight loss uh, or a weight gain you know, around a gallstone problem. Frequent use of antacids, you know, acid blockers. Uh, you know, there are different medications depending on the country you live in, like Nexium, um, Gaviscon, Mylanta. Uh, there are many different drugs. Uh, we call proton pump inhibitor drugs, PPIs or antacids. Uh, a strong history of use of those can certainly um, you know, be a problem there. Um, nausea, dizziness, bloating, burping, especially if like sour stuff comes up or bitter fluid comes up when you burp or regurgitating bitter fluid. These are all signs and symptoms possibly of gallstones. Feeling of unwell or fullness after a meal. Having a small meal, particularly one containing some fats, and you think, oh, poor, I feel so full and bloated, I feel poor, sick. Or people who say food sits in my gut like a rock for hours, especially fatty food, could be a big sign of a gallbladder problem. Constipation, so it could be, you know, again, a link there. Pain, headaches, band around the head, especially over the right eye, so sort of like a painful sensation here. The liver can often cause uh, headaches with people. Uh, bitter fluid, as I mentioned, uh, coming up is, is a common one. So it could be between meals or it could be after something like sardines, for example. You eat a bit of fatty food or mackerel or 
or tuna or something like that, you could notice bitter stuff coming up. A person who's had fish and chips or a greasy meal may feel really sick, and that can be definitely a sign of a gallbladder problem. So, have you got any of those? Keep watching this series. I'm going to keep telling you a bit more about it. If you haven't already got my uh, report on Candida on good foods to eat, click on the link down below and subscribe because it's for people like you that I make these videos. Thanks for tuning in.